using quite a big brush. Quite messy. Not really a dry brush, more of an overbrush. Comes all the way along the uh, sides. In on the um, in on the panels a little bit. Can go on the grates. I'm going to cover the grates. Make a point of um, make a point of of doing the, the cracks quite strong. Quite a quick, quite a quick, easy way of doing it. There's no real um, way of doing it wrong because you can just paint back over if one of the colours is a little bit strong. I think it is a bit strong here. I probably shouldn't have done it that strong, but uh, it'll be fine. It'll be washed and then painted over the top. Some bits come in heavier, some bits come in lighter. Patch it around a little bit. So anyone can do this, this is really easy. If I can do it one-handed, whilst talking, holding the phone, anyone can do this. So I think I've pretty much done what I'm going to do here. I think uh, there's a few bits that I need to make some details of. Which I'll do to catch up. The paint that I'm using is a really cheap acrylic. Um, it's Reeves Red Ochre. I think it's like two pound or so for the pot. I'm using, uh, uh, who knows, hot, hot, uh, a bit of a squidge of a of it out. It's, it's none. This this it's, this could that that bot that bottle there could paint 20, 30 of these. I, I would have thought, if not more. So. Just finishing off. I'm trying to make sure each of the, uh, all of the um, supports in the middle, the, the, I don't know what they are, are they girders? Um, quite strong on the red. Um, and the rest of it is just what happens when I paint it. If, if it looks like a lot, it's fine, it doesn't look like enough. Put a bit more on. It looks messy, but it is messy. I forgot to say, make sure you do along the edges as well. That way, if this is one of the edge tiles, it's gonna it's gonna blend in with uh, the rest of the scenery. So I'll try and catch the other steps on the, on video for you, but um, it gets a kind of rusty orangey wash all over, and then a blacky brown wash all over, um, and then use a darker a darker brown just to stipple in to there. Um, no doubt gonna dry brush this to some effect but uh, but I haven't yet so that's just how it looks uh, total painting time 
not a lot. 30 minutes maybe. Um, so watching me do this, this is pretty much real time. I've just finished off the edges. Uh, so, I mean, that took a few minutes, didn't it? So let me show you painting this, give you an idea of how much paint I'm using. Uh, that's actually too much. Same as has been done before, making sure we come along the edges. Really messy, doesn't matter. Some of it gets heavied, some of it gets a heavy brush, some of it gets a light brush. Trying to do the grates um, along some of the some of the junctions, some of the edges more than in the middle, leaving it black. Obviously, if you think you've gone too far with the red, you can um, you can just paint black over the top of it. follow myself on the um, with the phone. Just making them quite strong and then cutting in a little bit the corner which is uh, it's all going to be covered by the wash so none of it really matters and then end up going over details afterwards So I'm trying to do this in real time so that you can see how easy it is. It's really hard to find it. It's really hard to, uh, to do one-handed and keep an eye on what I'm actually filming. I'll be right back. 
back. Okay, last side. I've secured it a bit better now, so I've chilled it off around. the red on there finished you can always throw some more on if need be that's on the tile that I'm painting at the same time suddenly that doesn't look bad does it so again like this it will be uh, like an orangey wash thrown around it uh, followed by a very dark browny black wash thrown about it and then um, and then uh, a similar process to the one I've done with the red but with a much darker brown just around the edges um, should all look pretty good lots of paint left over so um, then uh, one of these plastic pieces that keeps me from this one. Put in blue. 